On today's episode, we have a personal story from a Wikimaniac who introduced their boyfriend to something that will live in their head rent-free for the rest of their life, an entitled gym-goer who broke etiquette, a cousin who wants to be the center of attention at all times, and a brother deciding to date his younger brother's ex-girlfriend. For patrons, we're going to be doing a little role-playing in the end where the boys and I will read a hilarious conversation from a scammer. Head on over to patreon.com slash cultivate podcast network to hear that bonus story, ad free episodes, and additional content. Reddit on Wiki starts right now. What? I was going to say, what the fuck is up? What the fuck is up? Is up? <laughs> <laughs> it's too early. It's too early for that. <laughs> cut that. Cut that. What's up, Wikimaniacs? It is I, your punny Pinoy John, host of today's episode of Reddit on Wiki. I am joined, as usual, by the most dashing fellas in the world. You got Sean. You got Josh. What's up, boys? What the fuck is up? <laughs> <laughs> Can we do that already? <laughs> I mean, surely the intro music and the preview was over 30 seconds. I bleep it anyway. (laughs) I just thought it was funny. Yeah. (laughs) I was so ready to pop off off the bat. (laughs) Keep that in. Keep that in. Oh, that's funny. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, God. Peek behind the scenes. This is like our how much attempt already of trying to do this episode. So we are a little flustered. But you know what? We're here for a good time because... I did not choose any sad stories. Today, so <gasps> oh, we need a little break. Blessed so be. We need a little break. Uh, I guarantee it's not going to pop off on YouTube or TikTok, but you know, it's a, it's a nice <laughs> little change. We need a mental, mental health, health break day for us. <laughs> yes. I yes. Like it. I know you, I know you fuckers like your sad ass stories all the time. What, why do you guys like that with me? <laughs> <laughs> why is that the only one that hits one point some million views on TikTok? Uh, yeah which one was that no. Why? <laughs> the recent one uh, yeah it was also a sad one. Oh, it was the dad that hated his daughter or whatever wasn't that it yes Jesus. yes anytime there's something like very saddening that's what pops up yeah so all right we're going to our first story of the day this one is a personal story actually written by one of our wick maniacs if i'm not mistaken this is Possibly one of our very day ones and, and, and dumbfounded and shots and thoughts listener as well. Wow. I'm mistaken. So, whoa. This a is small from circle. Sola, <laughs> it's a small circle. Sola Jane. diagrams don't usually overlap. <laughs> 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 this is uh, posted by Sola Jade. So, Jade, if this is you, hi. Oh. How are you? And uh, the title of their story is Today I Fucked Up. By telling my boyfriend about Agda. <gasps> oh, no. Oh, no. It's 2024. We got to have Agda somehow. Now he's in love with Agda. <laughs> New merch coming soon. That would suck for Jay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's not what it sounds like, but something like that. Last month, one of my teammates, let's call her Kay, changed her work schedule to work the morning shift. I put the same as mine. Only three of us in the team worked the shift before she joined us. It's her second week on her new shift working with us when me and my work buddy, who they put who I like talking weird subjects with, suddenly talk about Reddit. Then I remember the Okta story and I told all about <laughs> it to my work buddy. The thing is, Kay heard the whole thing and was subtly joining the conversation. Again, I told the whole story from the first post up to the last update where OP decided to talk to his parents about his roach wife. (laughs) Everything. (laughs) They found it gross, of course, so am I. And we have a long conversation about it. Next thing we knew, Kay requested to change her schedule back to her original (laughs) schedule, which is... These people's talking about freaky roach (laughs) shit. (laughs) (laughs) Take me back. Please take me back. <laughs> oh, shit. Um, which is working nights for the next month. 
me and my work buddy was joking that it must have been due to Agta. But, <laughs> to put, but actually, we didn't know what the actual reason was. Today, my boyfriend and I met up to eat lunch. Our routine was to take a, sl- a slow walk around the area after we ate. So while we were walking, I told him about Kay and about me and my workmates inside joke. He asked what was it about, so I told him the whole Agta story too. <laughs> the cult of Agta grows. <laughs> what are you going to learn? <laughs> After telling him that, he laughed, uh, he laughed and told me, that is so gross. No wonder Kay left your ship. And I can't imagine that is something you really listen to. We laughed it all out, and yes, he still loves me. <laughs> Too long didn't read. I told my boyfriend about the Octa story that seemed to make my workmate change her work schedule after hearing. That's so funny. Octa continues to ruin relationships. <laughs> hey, I gotta say, it turns out, you know, the boyfriend stayed. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nothing oh, too yeah, bad about that. The work relationship. Not- oh, the work relationship yeah. is over. <laughs> Kay is not a fan. <laughs> Kay is not okay. That's why she yeah. went back to her shit. Kay is not a fan people of talking about Roach fucking Roachessy. <laughs> Roachessy. Like, this is what I fucking work with. Who are the people I work with? God damn. She's telling her other workmates. Uh, We're talking about fucking roaches and not like roaches that look like humans. Just fucking roaches, bro. Roaches. <laughs> it's crazy. Oh my God. <laughs> All right. Next story. This one is cross posted by um, Marge, Mary GTZ 2011. And uh, the reason why um, I chose this story is because uh, there's a lot of puns in the comment section. Oh. They said, I want to, they said they want me to read it and also to piss Sean off. So <laughs> here it is. Did, wait, did they say I want and, John uh, to read this? Yes, on our subreddit. <laughs> and were there people being like, who the fuck is John in the comments? I did not see. Damn. But you guys let I me down. Check. <laughs> I saw a post that was like uh, something about like Sean was right. And I was like, ah, oh, like, here we go. Sean? Time to <laughs> belittle myself. And not one person mentioned uh, nobody asked. I guess that, you know, maybe oh. the Reddit is is turning into, you know. That's not true. Maybe there are more 120,000 people in the yeah. subreddit. Slowly but we surely. We don't get that many downloads. <laughs> We're converting. It hey. can't all be at once, Josh. You're slowly right. but it's surely. Slow con- Just like the Og that yeah. calls, it, you got to grow it slowly. Oh, God. <laughs> this is the Y'all beginning of Let's Start a Cult again. can quit our jobs like tomorrow <laughs> if every single one of you guys just <laughs> You know what I'm saying? I would quit like the next day. Like that. <laughs> I did. Oh, we God. have a one dollar tier uh, on Patreon, y'all. If y'all just forget I'm everybody on Reddit you, we'll to commit, that. I'm telling you, <laughs> I'll we'll drop that shit to a dollar a month. No, <laughs> no, take it down, take it down, cut that, cut that, cut that, you cut that, Josh. Um, oh yeah, it's me. I'm yeah, this is cross cross posted from r slash entitled people by Mary GTZ 2011. The title is Lady Majorly Breaches Sauna Etiquette During Peak Hour. Oh, no. The gym slash health club I go to has a recovery area containing a sauna and steam room that have both been closed since Christmas Eve until Monday for renovations and maintenance. The sauna is not very big and has three tiered benches that are all L-shaped. Yesterday evening, after my workout during the afternoon peak, I went to use the sauna. I open the door and step in, and the sauna is almost entirely full. There's a roughly around 50-year-old lady lying down on her back on the top row with her hands fully extended behind her. She was taking up the space about five people could fit into. Jesus. There were only two spots. Yeah, that's hell entitled. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so I, I, for, for some reason, whenever I heard this, I was like, it's going to be some somebody doing fucking splits on one of these benches. <laughs> But yeah, that makes much more sense. Just fucking body extended line out. Um, There were only two spots left on a bottom row for me to sit down in. And the other spot is quickly taken. And a couple more people come in and have to stand on the small amount of floor in the room. After about 10 minutes, with multiple people leaving slash entering, but the sauna still staying consistently at capacity, the lady finally sits up and quite rudely tells a group of guys on the benches below her to move so she can leave. This lady gets down to the ground, 
walks over to the door, pauses, farts, opens uh, it, <laughs> and leaves. Oh in a my sauna. god. Hot Dude. ass sauna. <laughs> Now it is hot ass. <laughs> it is hot ass. Oh, Sean is shot. That's okay. The, wait. The entitlement. <laughs> okay. First off, I thought the fucking lying spread out. That was the breach of etiquette. I didn't think she'd fucking add on by fucking ripping <laughs> ass right before last. The fact yeah. that she fucking walked and then stopped and was like, here we go. And then fucking <laughs> ripped ass and then immediately <laughs> left. That's crazy. Yeah. Holy shit. Like she could have easily just fucking, I mean, cause I imagine, you know how saunas are. There's usually like a restroom right by the sauna. Uh, you know what I mean? So like she could have easily just gone to the restroom and ripped ass or just fucking, mm -hmm. you know, when you're done with the sauna, that means usually you're going home. Just wait till you get to your car, rip ass in there. You fucking, that is on purpose. Yeah. That is fucking on purpose. I have a question. Do you guys, do you guys enjoy the sauna? I love. I mean, enjoy steamy, right? is, is I, I do it. Okay. I, cause I hate it. I hate the feeling like just, I'm a very uh. warm person and just being more warm is uncomfortable to me. I don't understand the, the, you know the, the why people do it to be honest mm. yeah. i i don't well, like the skinny. sauna as much because i mean it's we easy way it for cause... for chubby people to feel like they lost weight is at least <laughs> that's how i feel when of... i leave that bitch i'm like oh man like look at all this shit's melting water weight you know I mean? I just... <laughs> oh okay I yeah this, i feel better now i'm not yeah i'm not too big of a fan of the sauna because it's like dry i prefer like the steam room just because I don't know. It is. It's kind of like the same sensation. It's just like I'm not fucking feel like I'm being like toasted. Right. So okay. Plus, I love the smell of eucalyptus in the steam room. That's probably my favorite. What about the thing. smell of ass? <laughs> Definitely not. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely not. Damn, uh, my gym is not. We don't have eucalyptus in our steam room. Yeah, we go to different you got that gyms. <laughs> you, get, you got that lifetime. Are you at lifetime? Where are you at? My equinox. You fucking bastard. All right, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> this guy doesn't need any more money, y'all. That's yeah. why we Venmo. Hey, fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Equinox, fuck you bastard. <laughs> Jesus. Fuck off. Um, I'm wearing a fucking Case Keenum jersey, <laughs> and you're fucking going to Equinox. <laughs> We're not the same. I only do it so I can take their skincare product, all right? Damn. I didn't even pay full That's price my for this Case Keenum jersey. <laughs> I bought this three years after he left the team on sale. <laughs> and you're at Equinox. Oh my God. I think John, I'm livid. John, I think Sean's more mad at you now. With this story. You're worse is. than the grandma. <laughs> I don't bust ass in a steam room. You fucker. Uh, I'd rather you would. Uh. <laughs> Damn, there's still a story, okay? The group of guys went off. Apparently, this lady had been asked multiple times to sit up so other people could be in the top row, and she refused each time. She then got quite snippy, saying that she was there first, so she didn't have to move, and then completely ignored any further attempts of people politely asking her to make room. Taking up more space than you need when a sauna is at full capacity is already kind of shitty. But intentionally letting it rip in a hot, stuffy, and cramped room full of people, I'm still pissed off about it today. Who does that? And uh, I did say there was things that's going to make Sean even more mad now. There will be puns in the comments. So for me to know it, oh, commented, great. there's certainly a whiff of entitlement there. <laughs> like that. And right, then uh, I, I, I gotta say, the Equinox thing might have taken me out. That, that might be, make me more <laughs> mad than any of these puns. <laughs> oh my god, this is supposed to be a lighthearted episode, and Sean is more furious than I've seen him. I'm <laughs> <laughs> And then someone else commented, Lou Moof, Dad Wharf commented, it definitely sent a message. Mm. Like that. Sure did. Yeah. 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 So that was probably my favorite. But, uh, 
Thank you again for uh, Mar Mary GTZ 2011. You know, find a kind of knowing knowing that we exist. Uh, <laughs> this cross post was uh, very much sensational. Damn, it's like how Sean is reacting to me right now. <laughs> You okay, baby boy? You're right there. I'm good. I'm good. Uh, moving on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. You can it's, fucking it's really lick this in the go public to- sauna. <laughs> Are you Drinking fucking your shitting me? Water. <laughs> I did say I did have eucalyptus in my shower too last time. Remember, Sean? Yeah, that, like at, at, that home. at least you fucking <laughs> bought yourself. You can't fucking. Uh. <laughs> We live different lives. Same. Uh, now I know Sean really hates me. Um, <laughs> no, he just wants to be you. <laughs> when I say eat the rich, I mean fucking John. <laughs> Please don't eat me. My wife is the one that's rich. I'm just benefiting off her. Uh, I'm just an accessory, which I'm fine with. Yeah. Third story. This one is cross posted by New Moon Chonks for 312. This one's also from r slash entitled people title is my cousin's jealousy blew up in her face. Mm, Okay. And it put my 28 male cousin, Mary, 22 female grew to be an extremely jealous person in her teens. We've all hoped she grow out of it, but she hasn't. She refuses to address it. When I proposed to my husband, Sean, a couple (gasps) of years ago, Mary, through a fit. Why? She wanted to be the first to get married between the two of us. She said she deserved it. She didn't even have a boyfriend. She's seven years younger too. Isn't that what you said? Yeah. <laughs> okay. She's, uh, OP was 28. Mary is 22. So, so six, six years. Six years. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, 22. I mean, yeah, I not that she couldn't be so. married first. I'm just saying the odds are not she in her favor. She didn't have a boyfriend. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, Because Sean and I chose to have a small personal wedding, we were able to use uh, money set aside for us to buy a home and pay off half the mortgage. God damn, what's that like? (laughs) Um, Cue another tantrum from Mary. Sorry, I just zoned out. Yeah, (laughs) half the mortgage. Are you mad at them now? (laughs) I'm just mad at everybody. Eat the fucking rich, guys. (laughs) I think these are just normal people. but (laughs) No. Cue another tantrum from Mary, despite the fact that there is money set aside for her too, including for my grandparents and and Aunt Miranda, who chose not to have children. I think you can get the picture here. If I have something Mary doesn't, she wants it. If I accomplish something before her, it's not fair. It doesn't matter if she's younger than me by six years, and I would naturally reach some goals before her. There's just no logic in her tantrum. This brings us to Miranda's annual New Year's party. There's always food, drinks, and games. It's a fun night where we can get wasted safely with family and friends if you want to, especially since there are no kids in the family at the moment. When I was returning from the bathroom, I saw Sean looking uh, looking extremely uncomfortable and trying to fend off Mary, who was sitting much too close to him on the couch. I managed to overhear her telling him that women are much better than men and insisting he try with her because... He didn't know what he was missing. Oh my God. Now, Sean is 100% gay. So this was just pathetic for her. But I was seeing red over the fact that she was attempting to ruin our marriage to satisfy her jealousy. (laughs) Could you imagine being so jealous and petty that you tried to seduce a gay man? (laughs) That's married to your, (laughs) was it cousin? Cousin, brother, whatever it was. It was cousin. Yeah, Yeah, cousin. (laughs) It's still wild. I said, if women are so great, then date a woman instead of trying to get my gay husband <laughs> to sleep with you. The entire room heard this. I didn't control my volume. Party ruined. The family has spared us from most of the chaos that followed. But today, we found out that the money that was set aside for her is no longer for her. Ooh. The tuition to pay for the remaining classes for her bachelor's degree has been refunded to our grandparents since spring classes hasn't started yet. All the money from her parents is going to her younger brother, and all the money from our grandparents and Miranda is going to be distributed between him and myself. She's getting nothing. She's also been given three months to find a new place to live because her parents don't want her living under their roof. 
She was given a massive leg up yeah. just like I was, and she screwed herself out of it. I almost feel sorry for her. Almost. Okay. I don't. <laughs> I mean, most of her schooling was still paid for, so that's still pretty good. But I feel like this is like the rare time where the fucking family of the, the right asshole. Person. <laughs> yeah, fucking <laughs> acts up, you know. <laughs> Just for justice, you know what I mean? Yeah. That's insane. They they were like, damn, you're fucking out of here. You're getting nothing. <laughs> yeah. Zero to a hundred. That's crazy. I appreciate Good it. Good on them. More people need to Same. do that, I think. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, it's shocking to hear. Yeah, I don't know how to respond to that. We how? don't get these stories. <laughs> yeah. No, the- a supportive family? Hey, she's a definition she's a definition of fumble the bag for sure. Yeah. Jeez. Like she had everything set and all she had to do was not be a freaking jealous bitch. And this is what happened. It's kind of funny. I like it. It is funny. I, I mean, like it's good for the family for standing up for him and his husband and like, yeah, call on that bullshit because that's, it is disgusting what she was trying to do straight or gay. You know what I mean? Like trying to sleep yeah. with your cousin's husband is it's wild. Disgusting. Insane. <laughs> yeah. Wild. <sighs> all right. Last story for the day. And this one is uh, Sean Rule. Very strong Sean Rule for this one. So Ooh. this one is cross posted by Mary GTZ 2011. So back to back this episode. Whoa. This one is from r slash relationship advice. The title is I, 29 male, am dating my brother's 19 male ex girlfriend, 18 female. And now my brother and family wants us to break up. Any suggestions on what to do? Break, break up. up. Obviously, <laughs> break up. Done. That's Obviously, the episode, right? break <laughs> the fuck up. What are you talking about? Not, like, that's so no. that's doubly bad. Like, your, bo- your brother's ex and 10 years younger than you. Mm. Barely legal. Barely Crazy. legal. Yes. <sighs> oh, my hate God. hate that. So... About four months ago, I started dating my girlfriend who used to date my brother. Our age gap is about 11 years with me turning 30 in April and her turning Dude, 19 in uh, May. Turning 19. Go to fucking hell. Go the oh, fuck no. hell. No. This is the part that cracks me up, which I know some will judge. We are. But I don't uh, see the issue with... <laughs> But I don't see the issue with two consenting adults being in a relationship. And this is the part that gets more icky. They dated for about two years. And I would see her with my brother when I came by to visit my family. But I never thought anything of her. That's Cap. She was just my brother's girlfriend. And at that time, I was also in a relationship. You are a 27-year-old pervert creeping on a 16-year-old high school girl. Yeah, that's disgusting. Absolutely fuck you, you piece of scum. Only some will judge me. Fuck you. (laughs) You fucking creep. I like how I had to put that in disclaimer. I didn't think much of her back then. Who did? And then people are going to come here and tell me the Sean rule doesn't exist. (laughs) Are you crazy? (laughs) Uh. (laughs) at the beginning of last summer i ended things with my ex as i couldn't see things long term with her so i was now a newly single man in july i went on a family vacation with my mother father my little brother and his girlfriend came along uh came along with which at the time they had both graduated high school by now i like how he's just saying all these things where it's like oh but she graduated high school already bro it ain't ain't gonna help with these details (laughs) She had started conversations with me on the vacation, and over time through the trip, we would to talk quite frequently, which my brother seemed a little upset, but I just thought we were getting to know each other and becoming friends. I remember she had asked how old I was, and when I told her I was 29, she was shocked as she thought I was only 19 or 20 when she first met me. I just have that youthful face and skin and take care of my appearance and keep myself in great shape. Oh, so it's fine then. You look 19. (laughs) You fucking piece of shit. About a month later, after the vacation, my brother ended up in jail for an assault and she had split up with him because of that. Um, And they also put he had been in other legal trouble before this. And about two weeks after the breakup, she reached out to me. (laughs) 
<laughs> you fucking <sighs> piece of shit. About two weeks after the breakup, she reached out to me to go out as friends, and I had decided to agree. Uh, at the time, I was seeing other women on Tinder, but I figured this wasn't a date. We went to the movies. We were just talking and watching the movie and talking, and she would say that I seem a lot more mature than my younger brother and that I seem to stay out of trouble. Next thing I knew, we had started kissing. And over time, our feelings escalated, so we became a couple after hooking up a few more times. For months, I decided to not bring her over to my family as I wanted to give my brother time to move on from her. <laughs> I would tell my family about the women I'm seeing, but didn't give much information until I decided to bring her over for New Year's. Brother, there's not enough time for not to get over that. Time. He's about to get another charge for assault on your ass. I was going to say, you're really fucking playing a fool's game, brother. <laughs> your brother's really going to about to beat your ass. Yeah. Um, when I brought her over, my father and mother went quiet and they didn't have much to say. And I saw my brother visible anger and he walked away and slammed his room door. I tried knocking on his door and heard him yell, fuck off, which saddened me as my brother and I always had a good close relationship before this. Shortly after, we left as we didn't feel welcomed. Now, my family's of tried course. to force me of, to break well, up. How did you anticipate <laughs> yeah. that going down? Yeah. You and your fucking mm -hmm. freshman in college girlfriend, you fucking piece of shit. Oh. She probably didn't even start because her she's turning 19 in May. So she's yeah. probably not in. Oh, well, she probably uh, be she might be in already. the first year. Right. No. Yeah. Yeah, 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 you're first right. Year. I was thinking she was still probably 18. Um. Now my family is trying to force me to break up with her. Both my father and mother are saying we need to break up if I want to ever be able to reconcile with my brother. I don't want to ruin my relationship with my brother and my parents. I love them very much, but at the same time, I feel like it's not their choice who I can date and my brother shouldn't get to control who she can date. Any suggestions on what I should do? They break up. Jesus. I They're don't not know. controlling <laughs> who y'all date. Yeah. Just date someone in your fucking age. Like, I mean, that's not like, well, not even that, but like, don't date your brother's ex. That's like, he's to say he's controlling who she's dating is insane when he's like, yeah, I don't want her to date my 10 year old, like 10 year old brother, <laughs> 10 years older brother, not 10 year old brother. There it is. Yeah, weirder, yeah, yeah. But <laughs> yeah, uh, it like such a reasonable ask of him. And, and you're just like, yeah, he's trying to control who she's dating. What what an insane take on that. Everything he wrote in this story was painting everyone else as a bad guy or as him like as, uh, you know, I just yeah. stumbled into this. I didn't think it was going to be a date that we just happened to start kissing. Like it just like happened. Yeah. You're a predator and you need to be treated like one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Agreed. Uh, and then some comments, um, uh, Australian wildlife put, they dated for two years, so OP met her when she was 16. That's mm -hmm. foul. Sean already said that earlier, too, so good on that. Yeah. And then friend of Hades uh, commented back, yeah, that little line of, quote, by when they had both graduated high school as a direct reference to the fact that he knew her when she was still a minor. So, yes, Josh, he was a predator, for sure. And then Curly Q 31 also commented, if someone who is 18 tells someone that is 30... They thought they were 19. That is not something to brag about, which <laughs> I agree. I thought your maturity level was at 18. <laughs> oh, I'm actually 10 years old. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah. That definitely broke the shot. Rule, yeah. Bro. That shattered the Sean rule. <laughs> mm -hmm. For sure. Awesome. All right. Well, we're going to go to our next segment written by the amazing under Baki. And this time around, she has uh, put a game together for us of would you rather? Ooh. So uh, three scenarios that Alex put together and uh, preview. She is coming out with a brand new show. So stay tuned uh, for that announcement. Hell yeah. And uh, the first would you rather question. Would you rather go on a road trip with no heat slash AC or with a non-working radio? And that includes like Bluetooth or headphones. Man, so I used to have a car that the heat and AC didn't work. So I've been in this scenario. <laughs> uh, so I guess I'd go with that one. I think I'd go insane if I didn't have like oh. 
a podcast or music to listen to on a, on a road trip. I could roll down the window if it was too hot. And then if it's too cold, I mean, I live that every day when the heat doesn't work. So. <laughs> I don't know. In Texas, it feels like no AC. You might as well die. It's death. <laughs> like, yeah, it's fucking bad. True. Uh, yeah, I think I would choose no radio and just sit with my thoughts. <laughs> that sounds way more daunting Damn. to me. <laughs> <laughs> There's none in mind, so it's kind of just a silence, you know what I mean? <laughs> just, a, just a low hum. <laughs> yeah. Those people, those, uh, what do you call it? Those white noise. Oh, yeah. People look yeah, up yeah, on Spotify. Yeah. It's just that, brother. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, Two man. Two dudes playing I'm ping pong. The... <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit, dude. Hell yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm going to be the opposite. I, I can't do car rides without having ac blasted so i don't do heat heater as much i need ac i need air and i have too much stuff going on in my brain so like even when i'm driving it's not really quiet because i just think about things too much and sometimes when there is music playing i get distracted and i often miss my exit so uh yeah i guess i gotta go with the yeah i can't go without ac the okay. Browns are united. I mean, fair enough. <laughs> uh, next, would you rather question? Would you rather work for Amazon or Walmart? Oh, I have worked for one of these evil people. Yeah. And we, we always chopped on you for it. Yeah, we did. Yeah. Uh, oh, this man. is why I can afford Equinox memberships, though. <laughs> I'm not rich. It's my wife. <laughs> you bastard. <laughs> I mean, it is though, man, I I've heard so I mean, many it horror depends stories. On what role yeah. I've heard so many horror places. stories from Amazon that I'm like, yeah, like in the factory. I'm one of those horror stories. Yeah. Oh, well I didn't work for a factory. You weren't, right. for t- you weren't peeing in bottles, John. You yeah. were fine. <laughs> you were no, it was your not. office job, which is, I mean, and my, my previous profession was office jobs. I feel like as a UX designer, I'd probably get paid more at Amazon. So I guess I'd go with that one. But yeah, if we're talking floor workers, I'd probably go Walmart. Yeah. If we're talking floor workers, I'll Greece fucking greet you at, or I'll greet you at a Walmart. <laughs> uh, if we're going like top paycheck, probably, you know, you're probably getting paid more at Amazon. I, I would imagine. Yeah. If I'm working for a billionaire, I want to be paid. Well, at least I want to take more of their money. <laughs> And you're not even taking a fucking fraction. Yeah. <laughs> I know. Like I said, to quote the great CM Punk, I'm not here to make friends. I'm here to make money. So I guess I go back to Amazon. <laughs> <laughs> They'd be like, John, welcome back. <laughs> uh, you saved like, your pee bottles. You <laughs> uh, uh, last, would you rather question? Would you rather go on the Call Her Daddy podcast or Sophia with an F? And I got to say, I don't, I've heard I don't know of them, either. but I've never listened. You don't know Call Me Daddy podcast? I call, I know Call Her Daddy because I think they, they had like this massive deal. That's the only reason why I've known them, but I've never listened to an episode, unfortunately. I know they're a bar stool thing, but I've ne- I, I don't know like what their deal is. You know what I mean? Like what they're about. And then I've just straight up never heard of that second one. What, what was it? Sophia with an F. Oh, okay. So, so, Okay. This is a drama from past. I'm just reading up on it because I also had never heard of Sophia with an F. Uh, apparently, she was one of the ones that started Call Her Daddy. Uh, mm. And then they split. Oh. They had that big split when they signed Barstool or something like that. Because uh, she felt they weren't getting paid enough or something like that. Which, I mean, fair enough. Get your money. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah. But I guess she went off to start her own podcast. Uh, and this could be completely wrong. I'm learning this from Google. So if I'm wrong, let me know. Uh, but that's uh, as far as I can piece together what it is. So I, I have no idea. I don't know what her podcast is about, but I'd go with call her daddy because I, that's the only one I know. Yeah. <laughs> Whoever's paying more, honestly, it does not matter to me. Whoever's going to pay me more to be on there. I'm there and I'm saying, fuck that other one. That other one sucks ass. <laughs> 
<laughs> whatever whatever gets paid uh, or Sean gets paid more. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever gets me uh, a fucking membership at Equinox so I could fucking <laughs> sit in a sauna with John. <laughs> which ass. Neither of them. Neither of them pay that much. <laughs> Hey, they do have. I'm telling you, man, their hair products are so good over there. That's, I bet. I fucking, I love fucking it. bet, brother. <laughs> they better be. <laughs> How much like, that membership costs? They better I take be fucking so awesome. much home. I take so much home. <laughs> I would be filling the little travel bottles. <laughs> Me too. That's what I do. <laughs> okay, good, good. I get like all my like sh- my uh, razors, everything. Like, bro, I even take Q-tips home. I'm like, I don't give a fuck. I'm paying for this shit. I like that. All right. I'm well, now on your side with see? Equinox. Thank you. I'm, I'm I'm trying to be Asian in like, you know, an Equinox. Uh, all right. Well, that's it for the episode today. But before we close it off, any comments, reviews, or Venmo shout outs y'all want to read? I got one here. Uh, this one is from our YouTube channel. Ooh. On the episode, I stalked my husband for two years. This one comes from Maria M. And they say... I just wanted to say how much I love your podcast. Hmm. Last year, my daughter recommended it to me and I became a fan pretty quickly. I'm a three time cancer therapist sur- and daughters yeah, recommended by one in 10 daughters. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm a three time cancer survivor. Last summer, I found out that my lung cancer had returned. I had to undergo radiation and chemo and your podcast was what I listened to during my chemotherapy. I'm now undergoing immuno, uh, immunotherapy for the next nine months, still listening and still fighting. I felt compiled to write to you guys to know how much I enjoy your show. You guys are so funny and so insightful, and you honestly kept my spirits up during a rather difficult time. I can't tell you how much I appreciate that. I've had conversations with my daughter, who is also a fan. We can't really decide who's our favorite because we love you all. Just be honest. It's, it's you John. Know, you know who to pick. You know who to pick. <laughs> Uh, if it's, if it's not, if it's not Brown, (laughs) (laughs) uh, hand down. (laughs) I like that. (laughs) Damn. Uh, if it's white, it ain't right. (laughs) I was going to say, I can't do any white rhyming because they've all been used by radical (laughs) <laughs> racist. Yeah. They'll say white power, We're Josh. Kidding. Say white power one time. I will not. <laughs> uh, this, my daughter works with a number of men, and she said that work would be so much better if she worked with guys like y'all. You are far, funny, smart, respectful, and truly caring people. It's sad to say that it's rare among men, but you do give me hope that there are more men out there like you. John, Josh, and Sean, keep doing what you do. Much love from this Dragon Slayer mom. And I just wanted to... Man. Yeah, read that and shout out Maria for her uh, battle. And thank you very much for that amazing uh, review. We appreciate that. Those are the kind of reviews that make thank me, you f- like make it feel worth it. You know what I mean? Yes. Yeah, for sure. Virtual hug Maria That's, with consent, of course. Yes. We love you. Yeah. It's heartwarming to know that like we're a part of like you bonding with your daughter, giving y'all something that y'all could talk about together. And then also knowing that, you know, we're helping in any sort of way uh, during your battle and your fight. Uh, that's truly an honor uh, to be a part of that. And uh, yeah, thank you for having us be, uh, you know, just a part of y'all's lives. Uh, and thank you for writing that in and letting us know. Cause yeah, sometimes, you know, we, we, we like to complain a lot sometimes about like, uh, this fucking ass. And we do enjoy the asshole reviews. Uh, people that hate us. It is funny to us. I think we, but it we is, switched. We find them funnier now. Where we take them less yeah. serious. <laughs> yeah. We used I to, make content out of it. <laughs> true. Yeah. True. <laughs> but e- even past that, it's it's nice to to get these ones. Uh, so just know we're we're always uh, fighting uh, with you. You know, we're, we'll we'll be on your side. Hundred percent. Beautifully said, boys. Anything else, Josh? Sean? Uh, no, I just no. wanted to spotlight that one today. Gotcha. Uh, I do have a review to read out. And this one is from Donatella. This one is from our website. They gave us a 4.98 stars as their review. Okay. So they put, this is my favorite podcast. You guys are incredibly funny and keep me company whenever I drive to and from work when I feel alone and sad. It's not just that though. Being funny is great, but I can tell you are also very, very kind and mature people. And they put not super common among podcasters. 
There's a lot of great matures. podcasters out there. Correct. Crazy <laughs> matures call us definitely mature. not one. When John uh, fit in yeah. a whole bit just because of a fucking horse joke. Uh, if, you're hey, a patron, you know. Know. If, if you know, you know. <laughs> if you know, you know. Um, I wish I could hug you one by one. When I'm struggling, anxious, or in doubt about a difficult situation, and they actually wrote that, Sean, so I'm not just wow. fucking with you. Um, <laughs> I imagine what advice you would give me if you heard my story, and that truly helps me a lot. Just yesterday, I was driving, uh, driving home after an argument with my boyfriend, uh, listening to an episode where a story resonated with me so much that I took it as a sign from the universe. Instead of driving home, I drove to my boyfriend's house to talk things through, and we had one of the most honest and productive conversations about a se- very sensitive subject. You can tell a podcast is great when it helps you through some hard stuff. Hell yeah. There is one thing I will say, though. I don't think I'll ever recover from the grief of you giving up your first format. It was absolutely oh. fantastic, and I wish I had it back. It was a format that made me fall in love with the show and binge uh, the first few episodes. It made me immensely sad when I realized it wasn't going to continue. I thought I'd let you know that someone out there adored that format and misses it very much. From Donatella. I don't think you're alone, oddly enough, which is so funny. I was going to say, I feel like I recently saw a comment that said something similar. Yeah, we've had a couple of. I also put up a poll. <laughs> And, oh, uh, did you? That's why, probably. 73% of people said they miss it. Really? It's so funny because we, we look we back might... on it as like, we... don't. <laughs> Do <laughs> not. Like, this is trash. Uh, but I think maybe part of that's because we just, like, it's hard, to, it's hard to break away the, the actual content of the show with, like, the success of how the show's gone since we changed the format. Because yeah. more people enjoy listening to Reddit stories and, like, those pop on TikTok. I did enjoy the format we used to do. It was fun to like, you know, fuck around and do different subjects with you guys and uh, learn like dumbasses. But yeah, I don't Maybe know. Maybe we could do one, one a quarter on our uh, Patreon. Maybe like uh, four episodes a year. As our monthly episode. Someone on Patreon also said that. Like they said, they're starting a petition of bringing these back. So <laughs> there might be some demand for it. It's hard to Damn. break out that $15 deer. <laughs> <laughs> so Sean and I can gym just together, guys. So we can make it. <laughs> yeah, but you get nothing at the one dollar. That's just being nice. You want more content? You pay for it. Yeah, we can do something. We can do something. <laughs> Sean's a deviant. <laughs> um, and then I'm last to get it to one Equinox, here, I have I'm trying to get it to fucking Equinox. <laughs> it's not happening, Sean. I Jim would be my boy. <laughs> um and this one is from jasmine and uh sean i hate to break it to you but it's not from venmo this is from linktree um they sent us 20 dollars, and they messaged us saying can't wait for a new podcast episode so thank you jasmine i hope you're reading this or hearing this i might have showed that Um, out already last episode but (laughs) did you oh hey Either way, Double Jasmine, shout out. thank you again. <laughs> Double <laughs> shout out, Jasmine. Yeah, you, we got to uh, shout it yeah, out twice that's, because that's the last time we'll be accepting Linktree payments, guys. That's I exactly say, what Sean said oh, when I read it out last time, I think. <laughs> yeah, don't fucking do that, actually. <laughs> oh, God. Anything else, guys, before we close off the rest of the show? No, I got to get back to Baldur's Gate 3, you boys. Oh, you're oh, going to enjoy God. the smut next Monday, Josh. All I gotta oh. say is that <laughs> I guess Ooh, she's been playing. She's been playing with me. She's been uh, rizzing Lazelle or whatever her name is. Hell yeah, that's that's who she's been risen. That Although, is the true fifteen dollar tier. Is our live stream <laughs> of us playing Baldur's Gate together? I would love to who play can with sleep with who. <laughs> yeah. Oops, all bards. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Sneak peek here, Wikimaniacs. I know this is kind of the end of the story and this is kind of just like going rogue right now, but we do have exciting guests that we have coming up for uh, for January. We're going to have Aileen from Tinder Translators. That's going to be joining us end of the month. And then also be on the lookout. There will be some Valentine's Day <sighs> merch coming up and beautifully designed by Janelle. Uh, it's amazing. Y'all going to love it. And we're so excited to put it out there. So be on the lookout and be ready because Sean wants you to doll out and cash out and then give us your money. <laughs> I'm fucking so buying that shit. You know what to do. <laughs> yeah, I, it's, that shit looks it's a fucking dope design. <laughs> it is. So, uh, yeah. But other than that, uh, consider, uh, if you like what we do, consider leaving us a review for 
uh, for us on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, website, or you can leave one kind of like on the YouTube comments if that's something that you want to do as well. Uh, be a patron to get exclusive access. If you want to hear a story about horses getting, you know, uh, um, <laughs> uh, sign up, <laughs> sign up on cultivate or patreon.com slash cultivate podcast network. Throwing all subtlety out of the <laughs> subtlety. Yeah. Uh, rock our merch. We'll be, we'll be releasing new designs soon. Uh, but the cheapest way to really get us discovered is uh, tag us on your stories, uh, Instagram, uh, on Instagram or, or tweet us if that's some shit you guys still do. Uh, but really the best way to support us is uh, spreading the word that is written on Wiki. But other than that, we'll see you this Friday for another Am I the Asshole episode. Till then, doodles. Bye. Later. Bye. <laughs> Fucking move on. <laughs> Fucking move on, actually. <laughs> it's patron. So you're starting to lose me again, John. I was on your side. You're it's starting to lose. patron show. <laughs> <laughs>